something that you couldn't have done when the game came out, but you can do now. <laughs> Meanwhile, both players sharing an eight here as Rezai limps in from the button. Bonomo finger wagging with that suited ace. 210. Daniel sticking around. And flopping a gut shot along with the spade working. Kind of surprising, I think, maybe to see the lead. Not not surprising in the sense that, of course, Bonomo was the pre-flop aggressor. But again, when your opponent limp calls the raise, you do expect them to connect with this type of board texture quite often. And so a lot of times, if you don't turn additional equity, you're going to have to give up, I think. And that seven of clubs on the turn does put the ace high still in front of, of course, flush draws. Maybe some hands like jack 10. Feels like he's probably going to be up against ace high a lot of the time as well. I like this bet from Razai Maria, because obviously there's a lot of credibility to him sticking around and having some sort of piece of this in the form of a nine or a seven, given the limp and then the call of the raise. But no, Bonomo unconvinced is going to make this call on the strength of nothing more than ace high. And you start to understand why he is such a tough opponent as an unimproved jack eight now all of the suited combos. So not out of the realm of possibility here. And the jam from Rezai and that eight of clubs is such a poor card for Bonomo to have in terms of the busted straights, the 10 eights and the jack eights of the world, Maria, which he blocks. Yeah, and that's just it, right? Ali is, <laughs> you have ace high here. The flush from the flop doesn't come in but you do also block some of the other natural bluffs. <sighs> I really think you're bluffing me, I have to call. Oh, and Bonomo makes the call, Ali. Wow, and how wow. validating is it to see the Jack-8 rolled over, and in turn, what a gut punch to Rezai. Wow. 